This is part two of the wine cellar series and I want to continue with the modeling and I think maybe at the end show you some uh, different textures that I'm trying out on this. Not necessarily final textures, um, but we'll see. Um, so yeah, I want to decide first of all if I like these barrels. I think I do. I mean, I'm not done them. I'm not finished, <laughs> but uh, assuming I can use that shape and whether or not I want to put on a subdivision, I think I, I think I will for for the time being. So uh, let's just do that. Can I do that? Oh, I can. I can select more than one. Yeah. Um, yeah. Let's uh, let's just take one of these. Maybe not that one's turned a bit. Let's take that one, focus on that, and uh, bring the 3D cursor right there, and look at the front, and we'll make a little stand for this thing. All right, this is something really simple to sit it on the ground. So I'm going to bring in a circle. Let's go for something like 20, 24 vertices. Rotate that, and bring it to around there. And what am I doing? Uh, I'm going to get rid of all these. I think I'll leave that one, those ones, that one, those ones. Uh, let's see. How big do I want this? Well, we can try this and see what happens. I'm going to take these two vertices, E, S, X, to spread them out like that. Not too much. Uh, I'm going to extrude them down, and then I'm going to spread them out a little bit like that. F. Select it all. I have to make a face. Uh, that's not down enough for these guys. Down a little bit further. I have to make a face there so I have a little bit of room down there. Let's just try that. Let's just extrude backwards. Just like that. And think about it. I would have two of those. So we'll, we'll go with that. And uh, I'm going to get rid of that face there. And uh, then I'm going to... What am I going to do? I'm going to come in here and I'm going to bevel these uh, just a little bit. I'm going to small amount like that and three. So it's a little bit rounder. And then I'm going to shift alt and click the edge there and the edge there. Goes all the way around. And we'll bevel this, control B, pull, and off three. We'll shade smooth. And we'll think about control one. No, we can't do that, can we? That's going to be good enough. Um, and I think what I'll do is I'll add, I'll add my weighted normal and normal's auto smooth. Let's double check by the way. Yeah, okay. So I have that and I take another one that could be holding them. Actually, they're a little bit big, so I'm going to just scale them down so it looks like it sort of fits. Maybe I'll scale in the Y. I'll just play around with it. Until I'm happy. Shift Alt to click. Well, I, I don't know where the ground is yet, so let's bring everything back and see. That's all right, something like that. Um, so if I got that, um, let's turn on the cavity shader and even shadow. No, maybe not shadow because we're underneath. Let's actually switch to both be able to see things a little bit better a look a little nicer and yeah okay so that's the two of them there um, for now I will just copy that over and I'm gonna move it a little bit further and then move this one down so that it fits and let me get rid of this guy here and we'll have three of these like that, and we could take this stuff and fix it up. I'm just sort of position it there. Nothing's in its final position yet. I'm just having fun now, uh, sort of concepting this out. So let's say that was like that. So we have that stuff there. And um, I think I'm going to take all of this stuff and put it in a collection 
and I, I will do the strips. I might do that in, in texture. I may not do it in some in uh, in modeling. All right, so I've got that. Oh yeah. So like I said, I want to put that in a collection. Or did I say that? I don't even know if I said that. But that's what I'm going to do. Uh, and I'm going to call this barrels. And if I have tons of barrels, I may take one. Uh, like I did with this torch, which I won't be keeping these, but uh, and I may put it underneath or hide it somewhere, and I might just use instances. But, but that's the general idea. So uh, while I'm here, then why don't I do that? So I got that in barrels. Uh, I got my 3D cursor there. Why don't I take a, make a few of them, and just copy them around here and there? So let's do this. Let's come down to collection instances barrels, and set the origin to the 3D cursor. And set the geometry to origin and coming close at least and we'll get it like that and then we'll just take that one and we'll slide it over here and maybe we'll come down one or maybe both on the other sides so let's shift d pull that in and shift d will pull that in and we can have a whole bunch of these things um let's just look in here I can do that. And that one, and we'll just uh, do that for now. So you can sort of start seeing some stuff going on. We can have stuff in there too. Okay, so that's the first thing I want to do. Have that. The next thing I want to do, I still got the 3D cursor there, is I want to make some kind of a palette as well that we could put barrels on or, or whatever, lean one against the wall. So I just want to get an approximate size for this thing and scale it down. I mean, there's different sizes of these, so uh, you can do whatever you want. Um, I'm going to do this, and I'm going to just focus on that so I can see it. And I'm going to uh, bring the 3D cursor there, and now I can look at this. All right, okay, it doesn't look too bad. I'm going to put some edge loops in here and break it up into, what's that, one, two, three, that's six. That's probably good enough. Um, yeah, okay, I, I think the way I'll do this is, um, I will make one and, uh, an array. I'm going to come down, let's make sure I'm not going the wrong way, and for this one, I'm just going to use the bevel modifier, I think I'm going to do that, and I may change my mind later, but, uh, we'll do that, and then I'm just going to array it, I think. With a bit of space. I want six of them or something, or five. Uh, maybe I'll go for five, I don't know. And, um, or do I want spaces? <clears throat> okay, let's take this Shift D to duplicate, pull it up for the moment, get rid of the array. I'm going to uh, scale this in the X like this. I'll scale it in the Z as well. I'm going to rotate Z 90 and just kind of position it in here. Scale it a bit more. I'm going to pull that underneath like that. I'll do that. And then I'll do another one here. And then I'll do another one pretty much in the middle. And it doesn't matter if these are a little bit off. It might look even better. And um, maybe I'll put something at the end. Uh, let's take one of these. Shift D. Rotate Z90. Uh, it's broken out, right? Okay. Scale that in the X. So it's like that.
and just adjust this whole thing. Um, on the other hand, maybe, let me just see what it's like if I flatten this out. Have it like that. Control L. Select a bit of this one, control L, let's delete that. Take that one, slide it over and see if I like that better. Okay, we'll go for something like that for the moment, slash key. And um, before I do that, let's hide that. Let's take all of it. Let's uh, apply that array. Take all of these and Control J, and let's see about um, even less of a bevel on there. Okay, so I got the whole thing there, and let's set the origin to geometry and just pull it up. I'll bring back the floor, and let's have a look at that. I feel like it's got to be bigger. Floor there. Let's bring it out here. All right, we got something there with will be made of wood, and I think what I'll do is I'm going to put that into its own into its own collection. Uh, but I'll just copy it for the moment, and I'll take it over here, and I'm going to put this one against the wall, so we have to move this guy out here a little bit. I'm going to rotate X and just angle it like that. And let's see, we can see through here, we can. So let's angle it a bit more. You're going to go up against the wall here. Slide you in. And just touch the wall and the, and the floor. Something like that. So can I move, I'll just move these out front for the time being. So we got that now. I think my, the inside is flipped. It's red. So let's select that Alt N and flip. So now we are in better shape. Save that. Might touch these up. Uh, I'm starting to think that they're a little bit too yeah, I think it'd be slightly different sizes too. But I think I'll do that to both of them. Alright, good enough for the time being. Alright, the next thing I want to do, I want to put some wooden arches on here. I'm going to select this edge here, Shift D to duplicate it, pull it out, P to break it out. And I'm going to go into edit mode, N, and I'm going to find my mean crease and take it off. I want that off. And to close that, I'm going to, uh, I want to get rid of the array. I'm going to turn off the subdivision for now. Oops. Okay, just this, this guy here. Where is it? There it is. Okay, uh, I'm going to give this some width or thickness. Let me just double check that it's straight. Yes, it is. So I'm going to press E to extrude and come out like that select it all let me just double check sometimes I have to flip okay it's all facing the right way E and alt test and I'm going to pull I want to make this give this some thickness coming down like that and I'm going to get rid of this bottom face and actually before I do that I'm going to put some edge I'm going to bevel this so that it goes all the way around and then I'm going to do that and I will be putting a subdivision on this. I'm going to do this, and I just need three. And now I'm going to come in here, and I'm going to get rid of the bottom faces. And I'm going to get rid of uh, these. So I selected all of those. Control, what did I do? Control, Alt, and that. And by getting rid of the bottom, it doesn't wrap and get rid of the inside, because that's going to be pushed into the ceiling. So get rid of that. Let's turn on the subdivision again and have a look at this. And I think this one is going up to two. 
and shade smooth and a little bit more um, do I need more edge loops not necessarily right okay let's see what I'm planning on doing with this here's what I was thinking I was thinking although it, it's a bit of a crazy design with the way the roof is uh, but I'm going I was thinking of putting them there not quite there I want to intersect with that part it, it, right before it curves up I was thinking of doing that but I'm going to make it a little bit bigger I'm going to just press alt s and just push it so it's like that hopefully it's not too thick I wonder if I can turn that off or if I can shift alt and click control plus till I get to the end of the bevels and if I alt s there pull up not quite what I want Okay, well, I might push it up and scale it in the X a little bit, you know, just roughly get it equal. And then I may take uh, this, just pull it down, and the other one, and just pull it down. No one's going to know, especially once I put that on. And uh, let's, that should be facing the right way, yeah. And I would put some wood on there. I'm just wondering if I need to bevel this at all. If it would look better or if it would break my, my thing. Actually, that's not really going to be seen because I'm going to have a central beam in a moment. So I'm going to take that and I'll do it in edit mode, I think. I'm going to shift D to duplicate it. And I'm going to drag it right to the side of, of that curve. And I'll take both of them, shift D. And they're going to go like around there. And, and I may not have you see all the way down the corridor. I may put a door or something. I'm not sure yet. But I'm going to put those there. So when you look down, I will have that. But I also was thinking that come back in here and take what? A little bit of this and a little bit of that. So maybe shell branch saw. No, I can't do it that way. A little bit of this and control L. Here's what I'm thinking of doing as well on, on these. Shift D to duplicate, rotate Z90. Let's try this. G. Let's see how well we can get this to work. Um, where's my... What I'm going for is kind of an equal distance between the uh, the edge here and this one and this one. And um, I think I can do better than this. I think I can. Let's deselect that and just have a look. Okay, this. So. GX. Let's try pulling that in. Like that. So that then this stuff would have to move a little bit and I can do that. Okay. And then I want to take let's 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 break that out. And let's take that and I think the front and the back are the same so that I could probably just duplicate it across here and just kind of look by eye and uh, GX and come back this way a little bit. Okay, then I'll move that guy. So I don't know if this is a good idea or not, but let's take uh, both of those. And we'll duplicate them down and then we'll have a look. No? Yes. Let's, let's look in through here and try to get that reasonably positioned. Maybe I should be doing it this way. OK. 
Okay. We're not going to look that closely at it. We're not measuring it, so I hope it'll give the appearance that it makes sense. All right. Now, we have the old materials on here still. Let's see if we can have a look at that. You won't be able to tell very well. Oh, and these seem to have inherited a material. Have they? Because I made it out of there. So let's break that out. And really what I would do is I would, I would um, just texture one of these. And I may go back in and tighten up these um, edge loops as well. But that's the general idea. All right, and then I'll show you what I'm thinking of for a texture. So if that's the case, let's just move couple of things. Can I just slide you down? Are you still on the wall? Okay, so you're there. And if I start moving this one, it, it, it'll affect all the others. So I'm not going to bother with that for the moment. Okay, we still need something else though. And I'm going to use this piece here to build it. Shift D to duplicate. I'm going to pull it up. P to break it out. But before I forget, let's get rid of the material that came from the floor. I'm going to scale this in the X. And I'm going to extrude it up a little bit like that. I'm going to get rid of that face right now. Let's take this and push it pretty much to the ceiling. No, I want to be in front of you. And I want these to be ever so slightly into these. And so, um, come on, back up, back up to the beginning there. Uh, so I'm going to select uh, the two edges, the two edges at the other other edge. I'm going to pull it up through, and I'm going to take this. And by the way, do I have the bevel on? I have the bevel on. Okay. I'll take this and I'll snap it. I'm going to snap to edge on. I'll snap it to here enough. And I'm going to get rid of that. And this one here to about there. We'll get rid of that. So what does that give us now? You know, that gives us some, it looks, you know, like a spine of something in a way. Yeah, we can hang things on it. And to, to be honest with you, I think I'm going to get rid of this bevel and I'm going to bevel this myself. And uh, we'll see where we go from there. I'm just going to give it uh, three. So there's two, three. It's a piece of wood. I don't want it too much. And uh, that's fine like that. I can shade smooth. And that's what we are getting so far. All right. So we've got the pallets. We've got the barrel holders. We've got the arches. And... Um, what else do I want to do? There will be chandeliers of some sort. Oh, the other thing I want to do is I don't think I'm going to do my floor like this. I don't think I'm going to have it dip down. I'm not sure. I can create that again. I'm going to delete that for now. And I'm going to take this edge and this edge and just have to make a face and get rid of those, dissolve those edges and just have a maybe a flat floor. I may be wrong. I may go back, but for the time being, that's what I want to do. Now, let's just have a quick look. Okay, everything looks good there, right? And if I do go into this view, this is this is what we're seeing so far. All right, now I have some ideas for stuff along here. And like I say, it may not go down all the way to the end. Uh, we still have a lot of work to do on, on the lighting and positioning things and other stuff to model. Um, but that's where we're at for the moment. What I want to think about in the next little while is whether I want lanterns or or torches or candles, if I want some kind of um, additional lighting up here. Um, there is one other thing that I think I will do right now for you, uh, and then I will call it quits for the moment, and that is the following. Do I have something I can use? Always looking for something I can use. 
and this. I don't know why I could just shift D to duplicate, scale it. No, this is not what I want to do. All right, um, I want to select something in this specific, there, I'm just gonna bring my 3D cursor to there. And I'm going to bring in a torus and I'm gonna switch this to 24. And I think I'll slide it out, look down from the top at this period key to focus on it, go into edit mode and wireframe and one for vertex selection. And I want to get rid of all of this stuff here. I want just the straight part there and the straight part there. I'm going to use that. Yes. Uh, so I've got that, which is like a curve. Uh, a little bit big, but I'm going to go with that. And then I'm going to come in here and select that edge and that edge. And I think I'll go to individual origins and E and S. So I can scale these like that. And then I'm going to come back to median point and select just this one. And I'm going to press E and extrude down here. And then E and S would come in. I don't have to come in all the way. And I'm going to do the same here. E and extrude it out a bit. It doesn't have to be the exact same distance. It should be, but you know. Got that piece there. Now I also want to take one of these edges, doesn't matter, like this one, let's say. Shift D to duplicate, just pull that out there, P to break it out, and I'll scale it down a bit. This would be like the, the continuation of this. I'm just gonna push it there, E and extrude it out, and just just leave that alone for the moment. I mean, really, that could be shade smooth, that's gonna be just fine. Now, what did I do? Did I do something funny on that? There we go. Okay, so on this though, I'm going to bevel these edges. This one and this one and this one. Control B, we'll put in our three. I believe I will need another edge in here. Actually, what I usually do is I usually bevel this as well. I do that, or I put in one edge. Sometimes I put more than one like that. So I can shade smooth that and, and that's okay. And I'm gonna take this piece and I'll just push it in a little bit more. And look down from the top, I'm gonna to just shift D, rotate Z 90, and we're just gonna move it over by eye. And that's probably okay. Uh, but I will probably need to extend this down. And uh, this one I'm not sure, so we'll just do it anyhow. And I'm going to join that. And this piece here is going to come in here, I was thinking. And come around here and down to about there. So that we're getting some technology in here, some high tech stuff, sort of. Uh, I'll snap it to there. And this one, I might as well extend it down quite a distance. Um, potentially even snapping it. So why not? Although that'll affect my unwrapping. But okay, now this I'm going to put into a separate collection and I'm going to call this pipes. We'll have some, we'll have various pipes there and now that I think about it this stuff here along with all of these ones I'm gonna put in a collection as well these are the additional arches so I have architecture with some arch in there but I think I want these in a separate in, in its own arches and then later on, we'll grab all this and we'll make it uh, alphabetical. And uh, so I have arches, but I think I'll put this center piece here also in those arches, like, just like that. Okay, so, so that's there. Huh? Now, can I come back at all? Can I look in here? What's the tightest I can make it? That's about the tightest I can make it. So 
it's going to stick into the hallway a little bit and it might be cool still to have that indent but have this pipe up on the ledge um but there's more to do let's take this and first of all let's shift c bring the 3d cursor right back to the center and set the origin to the 3d cursor and try just mirroring that across all right and uh Oh, yeah, I, I can bring it in, can't I? To there. Yeah, okay. So we'll never look down from there so to see that. So it'll, the, the ang angle is going to be like here or something. Okay, so uh, with that done, uh, the other thing I need to do is... Um, Shift D, bring this down, I'll show you what I'm thinking here. Where is it? Here. I think roughly there. And that's a separate one, right? Okay. But this one, uh, I don't want it like that. And so what I'm going to do is just focus on that. I'm going to come in here. And I'm going to take this and this, uh, control L, and uh, it's the easiest way to do this. You know what? Let's take this and shift S cursor to select it now. And then come in here and control L. And do I want to do this? Set my pivot there and shift D, rotate X 180. You know, at least it gets it there. It gets it there, right? Yeah, okay. Slash key. Uh, and then we'll adjust the length of that one. So of this one. So if that's still all selected, I am in luck. And so I want to pull this one, and then I'll, I'll lengthen the other part. Down here for all the middle pieces. That didn't make sense. Uh to here right and then um, take this edge and pull it down so I've got two styles I've got this one here and I've got the double style here because what else am I going to do here right and that's copying on the other side okay great and so I think I'll do I do this in object mode? I might as well, because I'll texture one, and then I'll I'll copy this stuff separately again. Okay, so why is that looking funny? Ah, because it doesn't go there. <laughs> it goes in here. Okay, so uh, this is a GY closest I can and that's pretty good I should just keep my eye on this duplicate it again and then just look down in here GY okay I have it now yes and now stuff will have to move so let's do a little bit of that and then wrap this up okay well this stuff's okay that doesn't have to move I'm not gonna worry about that one right yet and uh, this one I can just move, and this one I can move. You know, and of course, you know, rotate these things. I'll, I'll end up copying these because I'll do the textures, and there's nothing there. Save that, and let's have a look. Even just like this without the proper textures on there. In fact, what I can do just momentarily is uh, on these pipe like things and they should all be in pipes let's just make sure they all are by hiding yeah uh, I'll put on the uh, the blender metal that I use on the, on that uh, candlestick thing torch thing whatever just so we get a sense that it looks sort of darker okay hopefully that's it so let's have a look at that 
it looks a little bit more industrial. I'm, I'll probably do a little bit of work on on this and put some stuff on it. We'll see, maybe valves and and stuff. But you know, you got to pump that alcohol around, right? So we'll do all that. All right. So this is where we're at so far. I'm going to show you an image with some temporary texture, some of which I might keep, and it might look a little bit more stylized than you would have expected. And uh, but it's just still sort of a mock-up and then we'll come back and we'll do some more modeling eventually we'll do some more texturing as well all right so here is what that looks like you can see I've got the pipes in here these are not textures same black metal type stuff uh, I've got a wooden floor and I created that in substance designer and I'm kind of now because of the wooden barrels and the alcoholness of things I'm starting to think about about more wood and it just it seems warmer to me um, I've got some stylized bricks on here, which I may be keeping. I do like them, but I might be changing them. I'm not sure. But as you can see, I've got the wooden arches up here in the center post. And I've just experimented by turning a couple of these sideways, or on an angle, sorry, to try and decide if I would like something like that there. Obviously, I wouldn't put candles and they'd be dripping down. But I've got a wooden pallet there and one leaning up there. And so that is what this is starting to look like and how it potentially could look like with some textures. And I may keep this and I may keep the texture for the pallet, in which case I'll talk to you about them and for this. But I'm going to be making a change to the barrels for sure. And of course to the pipes and adding some more. So it's it's not as uh, grungy as I initially thought it might be, or as dungeony. It's looking a little bit more regal. I can even imagine some gold fixtures and some wooden ornate pattern things, and uh, red velvet carpets. I don't know. I'm just brainstorming. So I really don't know where this is going to go, and that's part of the fun of it. All right, thank you very much for joining me, and I uh, hope you'll tune in to the next video.